So what's going on everyone, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and the inevitable has happened with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It was only a matter of time until COD points were added, and it sounds very weird, but for the first time ever, I actually kind of wanted them because I want to be able to at least buy some more Nebulian Plasma so I can get some good elixirs because of the recent changes Triarch have made to the normal ones, it's made those rare consumable ones a lot more useful and we always have very little of them. You'll always probably have about two, maybe three of whatever you would need in a successful easter egg run and you might have wasted it in a unsuccessful run. Well, now COD points are in. Now do watch all of the video because I'm going to give you some tips on what is the best Nebulian Plasma packages to buy so that you guys aren't wasting your money. If you've got the Black Ops Pass and go onto the game, you'll be greeted with this screen when you log in, which says you're going to be granted these bonuses for having the Black Ops Pass, which is 1,000 COD points as well as 300 Nebulium Plasma. Now, the addition I bought of the game included 2,400 COD points, so that gave me 3,400 in total, and you can buy Nebulium Plasma now in Zombies with your COD points. So any moment now, you've probably already seen it, there's going to be a lot of live streams of opening these Nebulium Plasma packages. Now we'll go over what the pricing is for that in just a moment, but with this update you can now also directly purchase tiers for the black markets when it comes to the Halloween event which ironically is ending in a few days on PlayStation, you can buy all the tiers for all the content in that if you so wish, and you can also buy all the tiers for the main operation happening in the game right now. Each tier costs 100 COD points, and this is a bit of a joke. If you look right now, I'm barely tier 10, and in order for me to buy from tier 10 to tier 200 to get that awesome Hudson skin and that gun, it's going to cost me nearly 20,000 COD points, which translated in my currency for the UK, that is over £150, which is pretty ridiculous. I can't say I'm surprised because we all expected this and it's something which I think has happened for so long now that we're not surprised that it's a thing. Fortnite also has a tier system where you can just straight up purchase them but that can get you from 0 to 100 for about £80 rather than £150 or £160. Don't know what that translates to in dollars. That's a heck of a lot of money. Now there's also some special orders that have been added in with this update which you can directly buy with COD points points and these are to buy the contracts so in order for you to have access to these items you have to actually purchase the order itself and as you level up the tiers for it you will get specific items there's two there's covert as well as bombero now what's unfortunate is you can't just directly buy these outfits you buy a contract for them and then you have to level up the tiers in order to unlock all of the content that relates to that outfit I don't quite understand why, like, if we directly purchase these, we should be able to just 4 right have them, but I think Triarch have an explanation on why this is happening, and there is another section now in the black market called Blackjack Shop, which isn't available right now, but Vonderhaar mentioned in a video when talking about the operations that are currently in the game, that in November, we'll have access to Blackjack Shop, we can directly buy skins and outfits there, so that's probably why, and I would assume if these contracts tracks are only five and eight hundred cob points these shop items will probably be a little bit more. But let's jump into what you're all here for. The Nebulium Plasma, the microtransactions in Zombies. What's going on? How does this work? So with the COD points and the Nebulium, which you should have been given if you are a Black Ops Pass owner, you won't see any options for you to buy Nebulium Plasma. But once you've spun all of your Nebulium Plasma and have no more, you will then be given a screen which says you don't have enough Nebulium Plasma. And an additional amount of Nebulium is required to complete your purchase with options for 300, 75 or 30 with those COD points options right there which you can pay for. Now I want to make sure you guys are not wasting your money on specific Nobulian packages as most of you including myself would originally go for the 75. That's because it is the best package, the Palladium package, and it says it will give you one guaranteed rare or better, two random elixirs, and a guaranteed talisman. But what you should be doing is spinning the 45, because that gives you everything exactly the same when it comes to the elixirs, but just gives you a chance of a talisman, not a guaranteed talisman. So if talismans are a big thing to you, obviously get the 75, but I don't really think any of us care too much about the talismans we run at the start of a game because they're one-time uses and 
although they're great, they're not very useful in the term of long-term use. So I think a lot of us will just go for the 45, which will get you the exact same chances of good elixirs, but without the chance of getting a guaranteed talisman. Now, I don't know specifically what the luck is on the 45 and the 75. I've personally, through my experience, not noticed too much of a difference in terms of good elixirs from these two packages. Doesn't seem to be too much of a difference, so definitely go for the 45 to make the most of your plasma. But I want to know down below in the comment section, what do you guys think? Obviously, this is going to happen. It's been in every COD game since Black Ops 3, and it's not changing anytime soon. I'm personally a little bit relieved now they've added this because it will make games a lot easier now that we have a lot more of the better elixirs to use rather than the just standard classic ones but the classic ones are very good and most of the time i'm only ever really rocking one of the rare or better such as like an insta kill or fire cells or stuff like that at the current time there are no specifically overpowered rare elixirs so i don't see too much of an issue here and i don't think i'm even going to be getting a lot of nebulium with my cod points simply because there isn't really any real benefit that the classic ones can't do already like you can definitely live without having any of the consumable elixirs and just using the classic since we've gotten used to them and they are really good but Treyarch have also recently changed the cooldown on these classics to a ridiculous amount in my opinion like far too long of a cooldown that the idea of using these consumable ones sounds a lot more appealing because they can be used instantly now i don't know if that's just a malicious intent on activision to get more people to buy the consumable ones because they can be used all the time and there's no cooldown on them compared to the classic you can make your mind up on that one because i don't really know what camp i sit in for that but i just wanted to bring this news to you guys so you're all aware of exactly how it works now that cold points are indeed within the game maybe they could tow down the cost of the team tiers ever so slightly each tier does cost a hundred but there being 200 tiers is a lot when there isn't really that much after like tier 100 for instance in terms of content that you unlock that you'd want the only things you really want is those tier 200s and the fact that zombies time doesn't have any effect on the time spent that should earn you tiers like it does in multiplayer and blackout is wrong to me and i think that zombies should also be included in that but i'd love to know your thoughts down below you guys are a very vocal community they do read the comment sections and we can pass on information as well so any feedback you guys have drop it down below in the comment section but if you found this video informative you enjoyed it leave a like rating as i'd really appreciate that and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for the latest and greatest zombies content as i've got another video coming up for you guys in a few hours from now but thank you for watching i'll catch you 